Let's have a look at the transparency tool in Designer. So the tool is all about applying transparency gradients across objects in your design. So you can apply different types of transparency, uh, typically things like radial and linear uh, transparencies, and you can apply different levels of transparency on the gradient paths. So we can use the transparency tool to apply transparency to this uh, rather strange beast, but I'll actually focus on a particular area of the design, and that's just this ear on the, uh, on the right hand side here. And I'll go to the transparency tool, and I'll drag a transparency gradient from one point to another and release. Now this is laying down 100% uh, opacity here and 0% opacity here. So that's fully opaque and fully transparent here. So you can see that tailing off. Now if I'm not happy with the positioning of that initial gradient path that I've drawn, I can just redraw by redragging at any point in time. I can drag off the object for a more subtle effect. I can drag in the opposite direction. But in this case, I'm happy to just drag from the bottom of the ear outwards. So at the moment, we've got these two end stops here, which are 100% opacity and 0% opacity. Um, and you can see that here. This one is actually selected at the moment, and it's saying on the color panel that opacity is 0. And select the other one, the opacity is 100%. So what we're able to do is then just change these values. So I'll just change this selected end stop, that one there. You can see it's turning a little bit grey. And make it fade and increase the transparency on there. And this one I can increase the opacity and reduce it. I'll just bring that back down, jump to the other end stop and bring that back up as we had before. Now one thing to note when using uh, this gradient path is that it's very similar to the path that you use in the fill tool. The fill tool itself uh, at these end stops can contain colour, it can contain noise and also can contain opacity. But with the transparency tool you can only ever set opacity on these end stops. By default you only ever draw uh, a linear gradient but you can change this, and we can change this to be an ellipse. You can see that just changed this uh, kind of elliptical uh, uh, gradient, which is good for ellipses. We can use radial. That gives you a kind of a uh, a gradient around a, uh, like a circle and conical, which you could use for cones, etc. But in this case, I've just used them on this particular shape. Just jump back to linear. And just show you one final thing. I'll redraw that gradient across there as it was before. To show you how we can introduce multiple stops on the linear path there. So we can introduce a stop here and here and a third final one there and then adjust the opacity for each stop as we go by selection. And this one I'm just dropping the opacity there and on the end stop there I'll just raise the opacity to introduce colour again. So you may notice on the uh, midpoint marker here that I'm just hovering over, you can just pull that left and right and that changes the colour transition between stops. And you can do that between any two stops. So I'm doing it again there. And just to show that I can redraw the linear path, I can just drag it out and uh, even with multiple stops on it and then um, just simply um, even, even delete uh, stops as we go back to how we were. I'll just change that back to zero opacity. 
One final thing is on the context toolbar, the reverse uh, gradient option, which just swaps the colors around um, just by simply clicking.